Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Migsy69, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the much loved STB1. Uh, most people that play the STB1 absolutely love it and if you play it right you can do absolutely good things uh, with the STB1. So the turret actually is amazing. Uh, it doesn't say on, on paper 175 millimeters of turret armor isn't the greatest, uh, but yeah, if you're in a hold down position, it really is very, very, very strong. Your DPM is 1,000, uh, sorry, 3,124. That is with me running calibrated shells. Reload is 6.3 seconds. Uh, your penetration on your normal AP is 257. On your premium AP is 315. And on your HE is 58. You do have a 330 alpha gun. Only 320, uh, sorry, 320 on your premium AP. So you're only losing 10. Um, and your HE is 380 damage so nothing too crazy to be fair um between them all 11 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of fifth what was it 53 or just missed that um kilometers per hour so of course it does have this spinosaurus uh, camouflage which yeah originally i did like these tank uh, these camouflages but the i mean i like the concept of them um, I just think they would be better if they would bring them as a sort of tank, like a Spinosaurus tank, like the STB-1, but kind of different. You know, like an M48 pattern or an M60, sort of the same tank, but slightly different. Or just bring them at a completely new tank, like the Spinosaurus. That is the tank. If they wanted to bring these kind of dinosaur camouflages, it would have been nice to, to actually add them as a new tank and not with the, the, the current tanks we've got. Um, but yeah, if, you know... It looks okay if you like dinosaurs. There is a couple of decent ones. Uh, but overall, the, the, the STB, I don't think it's received much of a change. Obviously, I think the Traverse has got slightly worse. Uh, the Alpha on the standard AP and the HE, you've got, I think it's 20 damage less. But on your premium AP, you've got 20 damage more. So again, that just brings it to within sort of 10 damage, which is weird. You, you use the premium AP, and you're only going to do 10 damage less than your normal AP. So you might as well freaking run normal, uh, well, you might as well run your premium <laughs> AP and not worry about your normal AP. But overall, I mean, you can't rely on the whole armor. It doesn't quite have, even though I've just managed about 600 there, um, but you can't rely on the the whole armor the whole armor is nothing special to be fair and you really do need to get the tank in a hold down position for it to be um for you to do really really well in the tank uh, because it doesn't quite have the dpm that other mediums have got i know it's 3100 with calibrated shells uh, but even if you run run the rammer uh, you're still looking at around 3300 which is around 300 less than any other medium so if you do come on flat ground uh, against those t62s or the objects or even the leopards uh, well most me most mediums to be fair uh, then you're probably going to come off worse because you don't want to fight them guys in them positions. You, you don't want to fight to their strengths and your weaknesses. You want to fight into your strengths. If you get in a hold down position and it, on a ridge using your very uh, much, your very high uh, gun depression and you've got say an object 140 on the other side, that is where you will come off best and you will come off on top and the object 140 just will not be able to deal with you at all but if you come on flat ground that object 140 depending of course who, who the player is will just wipe you out completely even if you're sort of face hugging side hugging uh, it does make it quite easy uh, for them guys so you have to get on a ridge it is definitely like the M48 pattern uh, where you've got a really nasty hole uh, that's very, very easily easy penetrated, but your turret is just really, really strong. So uh, you always, always want to use your tank to its, uh, its advantage. And if it plays best on a ridge, then try as much as you can to get it on a ridge. There's no point playing, playing it on a flat ground. If, if, you, if your tank kind of not sucks but if it's not as strong on flat ground than it is 
on a ridge, then th there's no point playing it there. You have to play it to its advantages. Just like a, something like a Jaegeru, the Jagdpanzer E100. It's a slow tank, it's got a massive gun, very strong gun, but you've got no turret. You're not going to play it in the middle of a freaking desert. You're going to put it in a corner somewhere, or you're going to put it next to a building. You put it in the middle of a desert, then even the weakest tier 9, or even the weakest tier 8, if you want, will be able to deal with you very, very easy. So you're not going to put it in that position, or if you do, you're putting it in wrong. Of course, it still is a very difficult tank to play, because it's not every time you can put it on a ridge. It's not like every single time you're able to get on a ridge and play it on a ridge. Like you've got to fight for it, you've got to work for it, and of course it all depends on what you, your team does and what your enemy team do. If they all go in, into the desert or whatever into town, then yeah, there's no point sitting on a ridge. Uh, but this time we, or this battle, we're gonna watch a really, really good game by uh, Cursed RNG. And I'm just gonna show you how good the tank can be when you are playing it correctly or at least get lucky because sometimes you do need a bit of luck in the in the battlefield of course everybody needs a bit of luck you see all these people doing eight nine thousand ten thousand even seven thousand uh, damage they all require it's not all about skill of course yes you need some skill i'm not saying you don't need skill to get the damage but a lot of it is about luck and most of it to be honest a little bit of it is all about skill but most of it is all about luck it all depends what your team does in the enemy if they're really good or if the enemy uh, are really crap and they don't want to look at you then yeah that is about luck you know you don't really need skill for that of course there still is a bit of skill involved like when to push when to relocate who to go for there is still that kind of skill base set that you need uh, but a lot of it is uh, about luck where this guy he's gonna pick his targets wisely of course he was in the middle here he's got two tanks here he's got this guy on the right and of course he's got the amx 30 uh, to the left who's he gonna go for now he's gonna go for the amx 30b um, and he's gonna try and attack him he's gonna try and ignore uh, the person on the right side and he's uh, yeah I mean this AMX 30 he, he's chose the right target because the AMX doesn't want to look at him he wants to look at his teammate that's just around the corner and because of that he's managed to completely farm him uh, 3,000 damage he's now a one shot and there's three tanks all around so this object should be able to take him out and our guy then can push the WZ5A and before you know it there's now three tanks on one so yes there is an E100 coming and I love what he does here he decides to go past the 5A otherwise the E100 will have a very juicy rear to go with so I loved his positioning here and that's not luck that is all about skill you know he could have just sat behind the 5A but if he did he would have a uh, E100 up his ass so very very good position in there and uh, yeah 4600 damage there's now two tanks and I again I love the fact that he's hiding behind the VK uh, he, he's hiding behind the VK so ultimately these guys if they wanted to shoot um, the STB they'd have to go past the VK and even at this point he's just looking at reversing doesn't want to be front line he wants to be behind the armor he wants to use the VK's armor and that is exactly what he's doing he's using that VK's armor yes he has not now lost a little bit of hit points and the VK is a one shot but the, uh, the Progetto here is a one shot. He can take him out. And before you know it, there is now two tanks on one. So even if the E100 takes out the VK here, I mean, look, he's looking at him. And he's getting three shots until the, uh, the mouse come behind. But now the mouse has come on the right side. He's now going to push the E100 and try to isolate him there and get behind him, use his mobility. And then, uh, look, I mean, look at his positioning. Yes, he did get shot. But uh, he still managed now to take care of him. So before you know it, it is now a two versus one. Uh, his last remaining teammate is just a one shot. So he is now on 7,300 damage. Is he going to be able to get there? 
in time before the mouse reloads. If he can get there in time, which he just literally does, he can spot that this guy is not in the greatest of positions. If he just reverses a little bit against them, uh, them bits of wood the, the, or the trees, then yeah, it'll be game over and it will be the mouse winning. But because he's just sitting there turning on the spot, he is making it so easy for this STB. No idea what the mouse was doing, uh, but well played to the STB there. Four kills, 9,100 damage, and that is what you can do in the STB. Of course, he didn't really put it in a position uh, that was that benefited the STB, but what really happened there is he chose his targets wisely, and that's exactly what he did, and exactly why he got the victory and the damage that he uh, he done. So STB, absolutely amazing. It's always been amazing. Some people won't like the tank, but they just don't know how to play it correctly. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.